have more vegan options in one stand than any other place we've been in all of Disney World. So we got the smorgasbord this time. We instead of doing vegan non-vegan, we got all vegan items. We have an impossible sandwich, our bratwurst, a rice bowl with plantains, a vegan wrap, even the vegan pizza. The pizza we skipped this time, but we're gonna try everything. I will say that if you're gonna order this much vegan food at one time, there is a long wait. I think I waited for the whole line behind me to get their food before we finally got ours. But I do appreciate the fact that they checked and made sure we had everything cooked the right way before we left the window. So I like brats, especially from here. I think my favorites are BB Wolf's brat that they have that's plant-based and then the Friar Nook's brat at Magic Kingdom. We have done reviews of both. We'll put links in the description box down below of both. Now we have another brat. Banana peppers, it's got vegan mozzarella cheese on it, and I think some chili. It tastes like a hot dog, and um, it's definitely beyond meat. You can taste it's beyond meat, so the toppings make it unique, but not my favorite brat. I think Friar Nooks is still my favorite. So first, let's try this brat. It's interesting, mozzarella cheese on a brat. That kind of offends me, but... It's vegan. It's vegan, but mozzarella cheese on a brat? How do I feel about that? Mm. A lot of different things going on. A little bit of spice. Definitely beyond what the princess said. Got a little kick to it. I like the back of the throat burn. He's cooked, not overcooked, which is good because we've ran to beyond sausages here in the parks before that have been either undercooked or overcooked, which is horrible for these. This, three and a half out of five claws. I'd order this on its own. Tastes good, not too heavy. It's good, even with the mozzarella cheese. Next, we have this lovely rice bowl. Plantains. Rice bowl. Medio core at best. Not my jam. But it's spicy. Looking at it, I'm telling you, it's kinda look kinda sad. So the tomato sauce with some dry looking rice and two plantains. Alright, Disney. Get everything here on the fork. Avoid the onions because I don't want to die. I don't know what it is, but it feels like it's missing something. It's some really spicy tomato sauce. The rice is kind of flavorless on its own. I guess it's good from like vegetable broth that tastes like. But it's not really all that amazing. Nothing stands out about the dish. It's it's a meal. But it's kind of boring, honestly. It is two out of five plus. This wrap is so heavy. So it's a big cold burrito in a wheat tortilla. sauce is interesting. It's got a nice flavor combination, but it's really cold. I don't like it cold like that. I don't expect it to be hot. Also not my jam. I'm worried about this rat. The princess said it was cold. I too was expecting it to be hot, but like you feel it and it's like refrigerator cold. Some beans in here, some lettuce. interesting. Put the veggies in a nice uh, sauce in there. There's like a lot of cold mush. It's been sitting in the fridge for a while, even the tortilla. It's just, you can feel it's starting to kind of lose its integrity. Well, they probably should have on the menu to let people know that it's cold. Because I think if people knew it was cold, a lot of people wouldn't order this. 
Um, it's not bad. It tastes good. I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just that when you get a wrap, unless otherwise stated, you're usually expecting it warm. Uh, three to five plus. And then the creme de la resistance, the Impossible Burger. Now, if this is the same Impossible Burger as the one that we had at H2O Glow Night, I already know that it's very good. I'll also put a link for that in the description box down below. Check that out. Mm. Mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unlike H2O Glow Night, our Impossible Burgers were overcooked that time, so we weren't able to enjoy them. This is not overcooked, and it is really good. This is the best. Impossible is the best anyway. Now for the Impossible Burger, but even as an omnivore I love, always very tempted to steal the Prince's and Impossible Burgers when we go somewhere. And I feel like it's been a while since we've had one. That is worth it. We have uh, sauce, banana peppers. It looks pretty similar to the one we had last time at H2O Glow Nights, but this one is a lot better cooked. A bun, everything is fresh. This right here is a meal. I would definitely order this without the princess here. Um, I give that four out of five plus. Winner is the Impossible Burger. Loser is the wrap in the rice bowl. And the brats. Like number two. I have to say my favorite is definitely Impossible Burger, followed by the broth, but the rice bowl last, and then they wrap above that, and then they, you know, they get the, the typical Disney fries. Looking at it, I already tell. Consistent and crispy, slightly salty, the typical Disney fry. The usual average three. Well. We're gonna try to eat some of this food. It's been budgetless. Probably kind of full afterwards. But leave the comments where you go next. If you'd like to see us do more events and see what vegan things I have is worth it to come if you're vegan or if you're coming with the vegan, let us know. So until next time, we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe.